Welcome to an introduction to keyboarding. Now, each day we will practice our keyboard skills. Our goal is to uh, learn how to type without looking down at our hands, and hopefully this will make us more efficient with using technology in the future. Now, as we look at the illustration, I want to point out three things. First of all, posture. I do consider this uh, as part of your evaluation. Uh, make sure that your back is completely straight, and to help that, you'll want to move your backside all the way to the back of the chair. The second thing I want you to look at is the keyboard placement. The keyboard should be pulled as closely to the edge of the table as possible. The only thing contacting the table or keyboard should be your fingertips. The heel of your hand, the elbows should never be resting on the table. Make sure that you're positioned about five to six inches away from the table. You don't want to be hugging the table. You want your elbows down, relaxed to the side. And then the last thing I want you to notice uh, is your feet. Make sure your feet are on the floor. I don't mind if you cross your ankles, but please don't cross your knees. Now as we take a closer look at the keyboard, uh, we will begin with the, key, with, the, with the home row of the keyboard. Okay, For your proper finger placement to begin with, you'll notice that the letters G and H are the only two that are showing on the home row keys. Now let's practice. Take your uh, left pointer finger and rest it on the F key. Drop your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger down to each individual key. On your right hand, your pointer finger, your right one, should be resting on the J key. Drop your middle finger down, ring finger, as well as your pinky finger. Now, as you are typing and as you are learning how to type without looking at your fingers, this is called the home row because this is where your fingers return uh, after they've reached or uh, visited a different row. Typically, I like students to try to find their home row without looking at their hands. And I want you to notice your pointer finger keys. You'll notice these two keys have bumps on them. That is because they are the sensor keys. So let's practice. Take your hands off your keyboard. Now, without looking, place your pointer fingers on the two keys that have the bumps. Once you've found those, you can drop the remaining fingers down. Now, as your fingers are typing, there are two keys that we will be practicing with the home row. First of all, this says the return key, but on your keyboard is the enter key, and it is tapped with your right pinky finger. It reaches directly to the right, and while you're reaching, the remaining fingers should stay at home. Now, pick your favorite thumb. Usually it's your dominant thumb, the one that you write with, and that thumb will tap the space bar. You will be using the keyboard covers as you practice your keyboard skills. Let's take a look at the keyboard covers. You'll notice your keyboard cover is located here. And the best way to position the keyboard cover when you're getting ready to begin uh, your typing skills is once you've had a seat, gently lift the keyboard up, slide it under the cover, and you can pull both to the edge of the table. Find your keys, and then you're ready. Make sure that you cannot see your fingers. To return the keyboard, gently push it forward, lift the keyboard up, and return it to the edge of the table, and you're ready to leave. Now, as we take a closer look at the keyboard with the finger placement, there is some logic to this, so I want to show this to you uh, through a little demonstration. You'll notice that each column of letters has a number at the top, and each finger covers a column or a couple of columns. In this case, your pinky finger on your left hand covers everything in column one, including the shift key. Your ring finger covers column two, middle finger covers column three, and your pointer fingers actually do double duty. They cover two different columns, four and five on your left hand, and then six and seven on your right pointer finger. And you'll notice that the pattern repeats. When we get to your pinky finger on the 10th row, it covers that last row as well as the enter key and your shift key. And then your dominant thumb will be the uh, thumb that you use to tap the space bar. And that concludes the video on keyboarding. Move on to part two of keyboarding, which explains the lesson book.